Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to Dance of Cards. Once again, we continue with now day four. There are 12 competitors left in this game of death. Uh, what I, I believe this is a permadeath game. So I believe if I lose, I gotta find a new game to play. But we're gonna continue on with this Dance of Cards. Again, we're starting at the beginning of day four. Good evening to you, Maddox. Uh, so I don't know how much actual cards we'll get to today, but uh, we'll try. It, I know that says day three, but we're, we're in day four. Sorry if I woke you up. It's all right, I wasn't sleeping anyway. Did something happen? I felt ashamed of my cowardice, so I came in here. Yesterday, when our investigation was interrupted, I gave up too soon and didn't want to continue. I hid in my shell like a scared chicken. But do I have the right to do so? If everyone throws in the towel, what will become of us? Well, dry, because of all the towels. Our interaction has led to Jeannie taking her own life today. We can't allow any more deaths. You're right. Oh, sorry. You're right, but how? How can we stop them with the captain holding us hostage? Everything will be right over, it will be over the moment we deal with the captain. But how do we reach him? He won't leave the bridge and the door is locked. Why, I wouldn't have come here if I didn't have a solution. The captain is human and all humans need to eat. The question is, where does he get his food? It's delivered to him. So whoever is doing it, has to access the captain. And it happens in the dead of night when we're all asleep. How can you be so sure? Last night before I went to sleep, I took a stroll to the bridge and put a piece of paper in between the gap between the doors and the door frame. If no one entered, that piece of paper would stay there unless it was outside on a boat in the middle of the ocean. But in the morning, I found it lying on the floor of a boat in the ocean with wind outside. He was most certainly the cook. Why do you think that? Since I assumed the food was delivered to the captain in the middle of the night, one question remained, how is it delivered? Yes, it is possible it's brought in on a tray, but if you have a certain cart perfectly suited for this purpose, why wouldn't you use it? So I rubbed a bit of coal on its wheels. Oh my God. Douglas is human, he's just loud. He's the loud guy. Just a little, but enough to leave a trail in case it was used. And today I found a trace. So my theory was proven right. In the dead of the night when everyone's asleep, the cook puts the food in the cart and brings it to the captain on the bridge. But this is a huge discovery. It means we still have a chance, does it? By the way, TV's Noah here, a little bit of smoothie still in here. And I was hoping you could help me. Together, it will be easy to attack the captain and capture him. There's no point in calling everyone, as my plan only requires two people. What do you have in mind? We hide under the cart. I check it before you came to. It's still in the gallery. Once we're taken to the bridge, we'll jump in at, right, at the right moment and capture the captain. All right. All right, I'm in. Here it is. Let's hide before the court comes. There's enough space for two people. It's been a long time and nobody's coming. Did I make a mistake in my reasoning? Or have they found out my plan? Or the or are we bad at whispering? Basil for food. He's here. Quiet! So heavy, I should have made less. <laughs> you are right. We're being taken to the captain. Be careful, Martin, and don't forget about our plan. We must act quickly and decisively. So I guess it is actually still day three.
We stopped the cookbooks have left. But why is no one coming for us? Something's not right. Are you ready to go outside? Yes, when you say so. On the count of three. One, two, three! Captain. Oh, this is weird. Wait, Martin, that's no captain. It's just a mannequin. It has been here in case to make us believe that the captain always stays on the bridge. A shameless deception that allows one to walk freely. Hold on. If it's a mannequin, then why was the food brought here? Who's going to eat it? I still think it's the captain's the only place hiding from prying eyes anyway. See that elevator? I think the idea was to use it to get out of, out of hiding to get food. But it doesn't work now. Why does it need a sign? Wouldn't he, the captain be the only person that sees this? Yeah, it broke down when the ship got hit by the thingy. Okay. And since the elevator isn't working, the only way through is through the door. So we'll be here any minute now? Let's set up an ambush for this scum. We'll catch the door and then look around for some clues. Full speed ahead. Mannequin imitating the captain at the helm. There's a passenger list. A list, I'll read it. Okay, well, there's Lynn Davis, Martin Grimm, Emma Grimm, Lindsay Bettsdale, uh, Douglas Amstead, Quentin Elder, R.I.P., uh, Lev Tosvor, Esmeralda Valentine, Arthur Kindle, Simon Browair, Jeannie, uh, Pale Star, Agatha Sturick, Raymond Cheddar, Gilder, Joseph Taylor, Dita Marlowe. What a fascinating list. Douglas's name wasn't on it. There's only 15 names on it. That's right, kiddo. For some reason, Fran's name doesn't appear. Did I not? Did I say Douglas? I thought I said Fran. If he's not on it, does that mean he's the captain? All this time, he's been watching us, pretending us to be a helpless boy. We have to catch him. I've got a lot of questions for him. Martin, hide. Someone's coming. Captain. <laughs> We're so hidden. We'll give him a warm welcome. Freeze! What? So it's you. Oh, he's been shot. Douglas, are you okay? I just watched you be get shot. Douglas, you're wounded. We need to take you to the sick bay. Listen, kiddo, I won't last long with a wound like this. I have to tell you something. Get close! <laughs> I have to whisper it. It was. It was him. Who? Was it Franz, right? Him, him. Gonna be... Uh, <laughs> you mean Franz, don't you? Who was it? Like, now's the time to be clear. Douglas. Douglas, don't die on me. You answer me. Do not lose consciousness. Do not lose consciousness. Douglas. Well, there's no answers. Not now, not later. Douglas was gone. I went to bed. <laughs> Joseph helped me carry Douglas's body to the cabin, told him about what happened. Everyone believed me for some reason. Uh, told him about the passenger list. Now, Franz was on it. Uh, that Douglas recognized the person who shot him. Joseph wanted to catch Franz immediately. Uh, and I thought it was best decision at the moment. Get up, you scum! What? Sorry, I was asleep. Is the movie over? Don't screw with me. Did you kill Douglas? What? Was Douglas killed? Don't pretend to be surprised. You're not a good actor. I don't understand what you're talking about. You thought we wouldn't know, huh? Well, no dice. You will pay for everything. He did totally have a cook's hat on. 
Let's explain what's going on for crying out loud. Martin, grab him. Me. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to confess? Confess to what? What am I? What do you suspect me of? Preparing these killings, you bastard! We knew it was you. I have nothing to do with them. Let me go. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll be spending the night here. Help you remember. See you tomorrow, freak. Let me go. Don't be so cruel. Too many deaths for one day. Too much pain and tears. But everything's about to change. Now that we've caught the person responsible for all this, retribution is at hand. Nobody is driving the boat. <laughs> but what a pity not everyone survived to see it. That sounded very Undertale just then. Do, do. But da 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 da. Good morning, passengers of the Magnificent. Your numbers have dwindled, meaning you will have to pick teams once more. So spend the day forging new alliances or strengthening bonds with your current partners. And when the night comes, you will be greeted by another game of death. I'm delighted to announce that three teams will play at one table. We're delighted too, but for a completely different reason. So, Martin, shall we see our prisoner? <laughs> yes, let's go. I hope he has something to say. Good morning, kid. Are you ready to speak? What do you want me to say? Tell us why you did this. And what needs to be done to stop it. I've got nothing to do with this. I shouldn't even be here. Sure, sure, if you're not supposed to be here, how come there's a cabin room for you on the ship? It's not mine, I got here by accident. Stop lying, give us the key to your cabin. I don't have it. That's why he always sleeps in the movie theater. Did you throw it away? Damn. I never had one. Still lying, huh? Well, your fate will be sealed once we talk to the others. The rest of the passengers gathered for breakfast. We told everyone about what happened last night. So Douglas is dead, but I have good news. <laughs> well, this was a, that was a three death day because we lost Douglas, we lost Jeannie, and who did we lose in the game of death? Quentin, I think. Quentin. No, it was our third day. Quentin, we lost second day. I forget who who did we kill. Ag I think the the photographer. So he spent the whole so he spent the whole night out in the rain. You have no heart. I think they purposely made Emma unlikable because since she's your sister, you're like programmed to be like, well, I have to pick her. But if she's really annoying, maybe I'll pick someone else, I think. Ah, that's a good question. <laughs> Are you feeling compassion for our torturer? He should be killed. Aren't you a little quick to make such assumptions. Douglas recognized him. He's not on the passenger list. There could be a reason for that. Oh no, I think I gave Joseph Raymond's voice. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll give him a Ray Romano voice. No! The lad is definitely suspicious. I saw Basil prowling around his cabin today. And they're working together. Perhaps the cabin is some kind of base for them. We should check it out. That little prick doesn't 
<laughs> Brick says he doesn't have a key. And we'll just have to bust down the door. Wait. I have... Who did that? What was that voice? I have another suggestion. The purser has all the keys. I suggest we take one we need from her. As if she'd just hand it over. Seems like you forgot who you're dealing with. I know how to get things people don't want to part with. Lisa asked me to distract Denise so I could steal the key. I think several hands of poker will be a good distraction. Or a dance! Look at me! Look! Look, 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 look at me. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Wonder if you have anything you haven't shown me yet. Like some unique offer for special customers, if you catch my drift. Oh, oh what a shameless question. Well, maybe I do. But I need to know if you're worth showing it to. Let's find the answer at the poker table. Do you have the strength to handle me? Or will you end it quickly? Sex robot. I have no doubt I can last a long time. Well, you can talk the talk. Let's see if you can walk the walk. The gamble is on! All right, so we are going to play some cards today, which is good. A little heads up poker. Oh, a K3? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in with a race. I don't know what she can do, so I'm a little worried. Oh, a pair of threes, and I got a K, and I got a flush draw. Things are good. Um... Just a little bet, just a little bet. Keep it interesting. She's got a lot of money. Now I have a heart draw, or a flush draw with the hearts. A little bet, a little bet, keep it going. Bang, all right. What you got, what you got, what you got? Call? Uh, I'll just check, it's fine. Ooh, ladies! Check. About a hundred. See what happens here. Ah ha ha ha, give me your money. You're the one that can't last a whole hand there, darling. Look at Lisa. Look, look at Lisa. Lisa. Lisa's down in the corner, snooping around. Um. Odds of you winning went down, you bet. Yeah. Uh, you haven't bought anything for a while. May I interest you in this? Impulse buy! Denise took half of Martin's chip for a useless item. Half? Half! Can I? Just out of curiosity. What's going on at the store? I can buy a mirror when you need to look at yourself. It has no effect. Some vitamins, they have no effect. Or a button, no effect. I can buy all of these things. All right, well, that's not helpful. Check, just gonna keep this rolling right now. Check, I got a pair of twos. There might be a switcheroo in the future. Uh, let's, uh, let's, 
pair of twos is that five is useless. So let's uh, let's use the talent here. Let's switch through this five. Ooh. Take a little bet. I don't understand what's happening here. I'm happy with my twos, so I'll withdraw. I don't need that 10. Yeah, I got that, I got that full house, baby. I used my switcheroo on, on a hand that was not that important is the problem. Well, I don't want to, I can't clear her out because Lisa's busy, like, sneaking around. So it's important that I continue to do stuff. I don't know what that 5% thing does. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and double check here. Oh, everything's on sale. How lovely. Uh, I will race. Get them pocket tens. Ooh. Check. Oh, she's freaking out. She's freaking out, everybody. I'm gonna bet just because I think that'll make her have to do something. Yeah, that's right, you fold. The music's really good for Dorm uh, Do Re Mi not being here. I'm gonna call with my terrible hand here. I have enough for a switcheroo. Hey! Look at that sweet ass seven I got here. Loves folding. She just loves folding. Lisa's now behind the desk. Impulse buy. Making me buy that button again. Took half my stuff. Dangerous, sir. Well, now the real po good poker players uh, trick you into spending half your trips chips on buttons in the middle of the game. That's really the reason she's doing so well right now. Uh, I don't have any money now, so I'm just going to check. All right. Bet a bit. I got that nice jack. Announced to sale. Check. Oh, I got two pair now. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and bet again. Not, not much. check just in case she's got one of them K's. Yeah, no thank you. Um, but before I go,
Yeah, that's, this is still not good enough for me to go all in on this. Especially because I need to continue to distract her for plot reasons, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this away. She had a pair of eights. I had a pair of threes with an ace high. Like, it wouldn't have been the best. Oh, look at that. Don't be in such a hurry, naughty boy. I'm not letting you go so easily. She's by the keys, finally. Don't make me impulse buy. I don't have any money left. Stop announcing sales. I got nut like this is just to extend this game. Hey, pair of eights. I will check my way all the way through this because I don't I don't trust her. I don't understand what's happening at this part. Oh, can you Buy a king? Is that the deal? You buy a king? Because that's not one of the flop cards. Okay, so now I know she has a pair of kings. Okay. Uh, so she's going to win this. Um, but I didn't have money to do the, any of that crap. Uh, yeah, Jack... Interesting. All right. Why would I bet if I knew she had a pair of kings when I had an eight showing? Like, I think this was a successful distraction. I am very impressed. Very few can last that long with me. Are you doing double entendre right now? <laughs> and that's gonna do it for this edition of Dance of Cards. Be sure to press that subscribe button so when I upload a new video and put it into YouTube, you will return and get a notification. Also, be sure to comment on what you think of this episode, and I will see you all next time.